we're reading this week in Jeremiah, and I was struck by the surety of the promise of God that he gives his people in Jeremiah 33. I got to say to anybody listening, if you ever find yourself losing faith, put yourself in the place of the people of Judah at this point and think about this promise. Jeremiah has just told King Zedekiah that Jerusalem is going to fall, not just fall. This is, these are the words he uses to describe what it's going to be like. It will be a waste without man or beast. They had to be thinking, how is someone from King David's line going to sit on the throne ever again at this point? But God has more to say through Jeremiah than just that. It might seem odd that God used day and night to give them sure footing to stand on. But Chris, it makes sense if you think about it. God said in Genesis, was it one, three, let there be light. And he separated day and night. And they were to be signs for seasons, days, and years, according to Genesis 1.14. He promised Noah in Genesis 8.22, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. 